Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It's July 7th, 2022. We're in the New Testament, the book of Matthew, and we're going to read chapter 16 today. Uh, let's see, 16 starts with Pharisees and Sadducees again. They're still trying to give Jesus some grief. They want to see a sign, and Jesus is like, well, haven't you been following me around? Aren't you seeing what's going on? You're only going to get one more sign, and that's my death and resurrection, and you ain't going to believe that one either, so I'm done trying to give you guys signs. Talks about leavening and the disciples kind of get it a little bit wrong they say well what, what do you mean talking about bread leaven and bread didn't you know were we supposed to pack bread and jesus is like okay you just saw me feed nine thousand people with a couple of sack lunches i'm not talking about bread bread I'm talking about that that false teachings uh, and how just a little teeny false teaching can spoil the whole congregation so we always have to be aware of that We also see a change in Jesus' ministry. Up to now, he's been preaching the word, quoting scriptures, healing people. Every time he heals someone, though, he tells them, you know what? Don't go, you know, don't go spreading my name around. Just go tell people you were healed by God. He's kind, he wants to kind of avoid coming out as the Messiah because he knows that the people are, are, are desperate for, for a uh, warrior king to come and lead them. So he doesn't want to be conflated with the warrior king because that's not what he, he's about. He doesn't want the Romans to come and, and take, it, take him out before he starts his ministry. But at this point, he goes to Peter and he says, Hey, Peter, who do you think I am? And Peter says, I think you're the Messiah. And Jesus says, You know what? I didn't preach to you the Messiah. You came to that conclusion on your own by what you're seeing, by what God's telling you. And that was the change in Jesus' ministry. From that point on, now his disciples... He's telling them about how he's going to die and be resurrected. And he's starting to show them what's going to happen after that. Now, they still don't quite get all that because they're still messing in their head with, with what they think the Messiah is going to be, kind of like we saw with John. But they're getting closer. They're getting further on into to fully understanding that not only is Jesus the Messiah, but he's here to fulfill God's will, not what I think he's supposed to do. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to read chapter 16. And the Pharisees and Sadducees came and to test him, they asked him to show him a sign from heaven. He answered them, when it is evening, you say it will be fair weather for the sky is red. And in the morning, it will be stormy today for the sky is red and threatening. You know how to interpret the appearance of the sky, but you cannot interpret the signs of the times. An evil and adulterous generation seeks for a sign, but no sign will be given to it except the sign of Jonah. So he left them and departed. When the disciples reached the other side, they had forgotten to bring any bread. Jesus said to them, Watch and beware of the leaven of the Pharisees and Sadducees. And they began discussing it among themselves, saying, We brought no bread. But Jesus, aware of this, said, O oh, you of little faith, why are you discussing among yourselves the fact that you have no bread? Do you not yet perceive? Do you not remember the five loaves for the five thousand and how many baskets you gathered? Or the seven loaves for the four thousand and how many baskets you gathered? How is it that you fail to understand that I did not speak about bread? Beware of the leaven of the Pharisees and Sadducees. Then they understood that he did not tell them to beware of the leaven of bread, but of the teaching of the Pharisees and Sadducees. Now when Jesus came into the district of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, Who do the people say that the Son of Man is? And they said, Some say John the Baptist, others say Elijah, and others Jeremiah, one of the prophets. He said to them, But who do you say that I am? Simon Peter replied, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered him, Blessed are you, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. And I tell you, you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Then he strictly charged the disciples to tell no one that he was the Christ. From that time, Jesus began to show his disciples that he must be go to Jerusalem and suffer many things from the elders and chief priests and scribes and be killed and on the third day be raised. Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him, saying, Far be it from you, Lord, this shall never happen to you. But he turned and said to Peter, Get behind me, Satan, you are a hindrance to me, for you are not setting your mind on the things of God, but on the things of man. Then Jesus told his disciples, If anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever would save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. For what will it profit a man if he gains the whole world and forfeits his soul? Or what shall a man give in return for his soul? 
For the Son of Man is going to come with his angels in the glory of his Father, and then he will repay each person according to what he has done. Truly I say to you, there are some standing here who will not taste death until they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. May God bless the reading of his word, and may God bless you. Bye.